Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is another Quick Tip Wednesday and we're going to talk about honey. Not you, <laughs> that. Stay tuned. All right guys, we thought we'd just tell you a little bit how we store our honey. Um, Oh, we store it by the bucket. <laughs> we do. This is how we buy it, local and raw. It's, unfiltered. It's unfiltered, it's solid. I don't know Let's if I can it. turn it over and yeah. shake it. It's not coming out. No. Um, it's not been heated. If you can, which I'm pretty sure most places you can find raw honey. You Lot need to find raw honey. Do not buy grocery store honey. It's not honey. Well, it's honey, but it's been heated and it's all the properties. It's been heated and they add extra they sugar to it, though, too. They add extra sugar. Some of them put high fructose corn syrup in it. Yeah. You just don't buy it at the grocery store. Yeah. Um, try to find a local source. We have a great one here. Um, we buy these buckets. one gallon. I think they're gallon. They're right? gallon buckets. Gallon yeah. buckets. You know, and they're not cheap. No. They're like forty-five dollars a bucket, depending on what. But honey lasts forever. It does. And it's got lots of uses. It does. I mean, Tons of uses. And some of the ones that we use them for are, I guess the main thing we use it for is cooking. Cooking. Um, you can substitute it in for a lot of sugars and things like that, right. which makes it a lot healthier. Plus the benefit of honey, if you take it regularly, if it's from your local area, it, it does help with people who have allergies mm -hmm. to not have as many allergies from that. It helps. I don't know what it does exactly, but I think it, it helps with pollen. It builds up your tolerance. Yeah. Those will be so it's, it's a good thing for that and you can buy pollen and, and other things like that from some of the suppliers for that right but it, it's got to be local for you know your allergies yeah. locally so but some of the other awesome things honey can be used for is wound care yeah definitely. um instead of using like a antibiotic ointment or mm -hmm. you know like nail or anything yep. you would just put a little bit of honey under your bandage yep. or wherever it is and we've actually seen it um, work a lot. We right. haven't used it a lot ourselves. I always kind of forget about it. Yeah. But um, I know people who have used it on like burns and wounds mm -hmm. and stuff and it's just something really good. Yep. Honey, yeah, you can keep it forever too. Yeah, lots of, I mean they found yeah. stuff in Egypt from back in the pyramids and the honey was still good. So. Yeah, I wouldn't try I mean, that. But <laughs> Well, we're not going to be here then so I don't need to worry about it. But you know, that it does last a really long time. Right. And, you know, they call it the nectar of the gods for a reason, right? Yeah. So, and another thing we definitely use it for a lot is when our kids have a cold. Right. And they're coughing all night long. We're not firm believers in giving them cough medication unless we absolutely have to. And so, Justin's always, he gets the job. Good job doing they're it. coughing. Get up Good. and get him some honey. <laughs> so, so one of the things that works really well for the kids is if you add a little bit of cinnamon in with it, it uh, helps. I don't know, something with the breathing and coughing and does help with that, so mm -hmm. that works really well. And they're willing to take it, because it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes and good. <laughs> it's inevitable, if I'm ever cooking with honey, the kids show up with their spoons. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready! <laughs> they want their honey. It, it is, it's one of those things you can add, you know, you can entice kids to take things, pills, mm -hmm. and put it in there. I mean, there's lots of things you can do with it. So. Right. And like I said, the last forever, it's a good thing to add to your preparations. It's something that we have, mm -hmm. and something we think you should have in your preparations too. And there's all other, there's some other medical, like digestive issues that it can help with, yep. and um, you can use it like topically on your face. I know that it's been proven for acne. Yeah. Um, has a lot of antioxidants. Doesn't antioxidants it so. and all kinds of things. There's great honey's just one of those really good things. It is. And it's very yummy. Yeah, it's great to add to. So, and it's also one of those things too. If you need a little bit of a sugar kick instead mm -hmm. of you know eating a Snickers bar or something like that, which mm -hmm. we don't eat, you just grab a spoonful of honey. It gives you a little bit of energy, and it tastes good. It, it tastes great. Yep. So, so we suggest find a local supplier. Yep. I mean, you can buy raw honey online if you have to. Yeah. But local's the best, just because you get the allergy. The pollen properties. and all the stuff yeah. from locally. Yeah. It's just proven to be better for you. Yep. So find that and stock up on some honey. We usually keep about four gallons yeah. <laughs> around at a time. So, but yep. yeah, I suggest you add them to your preps, guys. Yeah. Well, guys, if you like the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down there so you don't miss any more of our Wednesday quick tips. Thanks.